Well, ladies and gentlemen, an exciting day here at EI7KO. I've been after one of these for a while. This is a DBX 286S. And I picked this up from Thoman uh, in Germany. Really impressed with the service, I have to say. A lot of people complain about the uh, about them being slow and uh, out of stock and all that kind of stuff. I ordered it on a Thursday night at uh, around 11 o'clock and I had it on the following Tuesday, which I thought was very good from Germany. Because if I ordered something from the UK, it would take five working days for it to uh, make it this far. Now, oh, the interesting thing about this is uh, I went for the B stock uh, and I saved myself about 35 euros or so uh, doing that. This thing has not got so much as a mark on it. Uh, there's no rack rash. There's not even a scratch on it. And you all by no doubt at this stage know how much of an audio junkie that I am. So there we go. So uh, why did I buy this? Okay. This is one of the most highly rated um, mic preamps uh, stroke processor strip. Because this is kind of like a 2 and Well, it's more than a 2 and one It's kind of... You have your mic preamp section here. Then we have our compressor. Uh, the drive is like the rate of uh, compression and the density is kind of like the uh, release rate, we'll say, more or less. Uh, then we have the de which uh, is a compressor that you can dial in to compress a specific frequency. So with those sibilant sounds around, you know, anywhere between 4K and 8K, and then you can wind up the threshold as to how much it'll uh, the, the, how much of that signal it has to hear before it'll compress it and uh, it compresses it there by 6 dB which is uh, over twice the the loudness of it then we have the enhancer um, this is one of the main reasons uh, that drew me to this I watched hundreds of videos about this thing and um, I think this section alone uh, is ideally suited to amateur radio because you have low frequency detail and high frequency detail. So basically for want of a better description, uh, these are like the uh, bass and tone controls on uh, your old stereo. Uh, then we have the expander gate which we can use to uh, quieten down background noise and once the gate opens uh, your voice will go through you could think of it in the same manner as the squelch control on your radio um, if and when you use that it will only let a predetermined uh, signal through so pretty much the same thing and the last one then is the output which you more or less have at 0 dB so let's have a look at the back of it. Have a look at the back here. Um, we have an IEC connector. Uh, all our warnings and uh, where it's made, etc. We have a plug diagram as uh, determining which way you use it. And then we have our jacks, uh, connectors, and whatnot. XLR in, line input insert to insert it into the side chain of your uh, aux uh, or send port on your mixing desk or whatever and your output so all in all uh, very pleased with this purchase and uh, we're looking forward now to uh, getting it hooked up uh, as i said this is going to do away with some of the stuff i have there and uh going to take a little bit of time and a uh, bit of fiddling no doubt to get everything the way we want it so uh, I just uh, decided I'd uh, do an unboxing video I suppose is what this is 
So, um, what swung this for me uh, was this section here, as I spoke about earlier. And uh, I seen one video where he really demonstrated how that worked very well. So, I think that that's going to be very good. So, uh, look, audio is my thing. That's what makes me happy. Some people do digital mode, some people do whatever else. I couldn't really care what else uh, other people do. Um, I know that this is what I enjoy doing, so, you know, you don't need all this stuff, but look, there's a lot of people playing with audio out there, so, uh, it is what it is. So, join me the next time when we get this bad boy plumbed in and, uh, working on the rack, so, 7-3, and thanks for watching, we'll get you the next time. This is George, GI7 Kilo Oscar, bye-bye.